Our next guest has slowly been losing her hair and confidence, and unfortunately, she has been unable to get any real answers. This is Glenna's story. About five years ago, I was sitting in my hairstylist chair, and she just kind of noticed that there was a little spot in the back of my head. There had been some hair loss. The hair grew back, so I didn't really worry about it. But about two or three years later, the same thing happened again. I went to the first dermatologist where his initial diagnosis was temporary hair loss. After the first treatment, I realized that the area was getting larger and it was becoming inflamed. The next step was a scalp biopsy. The biopsy results came back um, with a totally different diagnosis, which mentally put me in a tailspin. How could this be happening and happening so fast? What you're seeing right now is a wig. For some people, it's an accessory. It has now become a necessity for me to feel at my best. Here, and then also here, and also in this area, here along the neckline. When I look in the mirror, it's um, devastating. I am not my hair, and I want to believe that, but it is a large part of, of, of me being a female. I'm still learning how to kind of blend where the wig ends and where my hair begins. I'm more hypersensitive about trying not to look into people's eyes and try to see whether they know it's a wig. It's just something that people don't talk about. I hid this condition from my daughter. She took it better than I thought. I can see the sadness in her. I don't know what I can do to make her feel better. I mean, it made her that mirror. My daughter gave me this mirror, wrote these beautiful messages. Amazing mother, love you from the moon to the heavens. Look in this mirror every time you feel down or sad. Just so she can look at it and remember, she's beautiful to me. I can't even imagine how she feels right now. Nobody deserves this. My biggest fear is that I'm not treating the right problem. I'm getting different diagnoses, so at this point, I wanted to make sure that there are no other options to improve the situation. We sent Glennis to see our good friend, dermatologist Dr. Sonia Botter, for some definitive answers. Would you feel comfortable taking off your wig? Can I take a look? Anyone who's losing their hair, but especially women, have an incredibly strong emotional response to loss of hair. This is such a nice, thick, dense head of hair that you started out with. When I first saw Glynis, I found several areas which had pretty large patches of hair loss. So this is about eight centimeters wide by 10 centimeters long. So Glynis was given two different diagnoses. One is alopecia areata. Alopecia areata, which actually is closely linked with thyroid disease. On the bright side, though it's very distressing to lose your hair, with the right treatment, that form of hair loss actually grows back. The other diagnosis you've been given, the CCCA, a medical term that means scarring, and so the goal is to try and contain it, but then it's permanent. I think with, with something like this, where we're really trying to tell the difference and differentiate between a scarring process and a non-scarring process, the very best way to look at it is really to look at it thoroughly under a microscope. Are you okay with us doing a biopsy? Yes, I am. I'm just hopeful that um, I'm going to get the answers. 